Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Kyra, and I am here with a tutorial, and I haven't done a tutorial in a while. Now, this is in the 2x2 Dodecahedron by Lanlan, and the reason why I'm making this tutorial is because I've only seen one other tutorial on YouTube, and it didn't really have much, like, that good of quality, so I decided to make one that hopefully will be better than his, and in my mind, I think it will be. Now, as you can see here, this is just a 2x2, as you can see, it's split in the middle, and it does shape shift, as you can see. Not much, but it is considered a shape-shifting puzzle. Now, as you can see, this is the 2x2, two two, and they're pretty much the same size, and they look like pretty much identical where the lines are. They are both split on the middle and here, and they both have an R, a U, an F, and a B. Just like on here, it has an R, a U, an F, and then the B is back here as well. It has all the same moves as a 2x2, two two, just more sides. And now that's just the same with a 3x3 three three and a Mega Minx. They are the exact same thing except this one has more sides. And so the next step up from here is to the Mega Minx. And then after the Mega Minx is the Giga Minx. And then the Terra Minx. And then the, I'm pretty sure it's the Tut Minx maybe. Maybe that's its own separate style of puzzle. But those are kind of the steps up from the 2x2 dodecahedron. Now let's get to the actual scramble and solve of this. So the first thing we're going to do is scramble it like always. Okay, so this looks like a good scramble. And pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to solve it exactly like a 2x2, except the first step of the 2x2 will be... Uh, split that step in half and that'll be the first step of this. It's kind of hard to explain but we'll kind of walk through it on here and then I'll kind of show you what it's like on the 2x2 two two later. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to match up two colors and the first color I'm going to do is the gray color that we have on here. I don't know if you can tell that's gray but it is gray. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a finger on it and find the other gray piece which is right here. So what we're going to do is we need to flip this up somehow so that it will connect. So let's do a quick little corner placement move that we would do on a 3x3. So now that we have these two paired, we're going to look at the other colors, pink and lime green. These are the two differences between the greens. This is lime green, this is normal green. So that's how I refer to them as lime and green. So as you know in the future of this tutorial. So we're going to look for pink first. And here's pink over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it over and bring it up. That's how we have pink connected. And then we need to find lime green, which is right over here. And it won't interfere if we bring it over like this. And then we'll need to do another corner placement method like we do on the beginner's method for 3x3. Three three. And there you go. You have your first layer solved, which is on the 2x2, two two, you would have this whole first layer solved. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to match up or just put in place the top corners. So we're going to look for a corner that has one of these colors. So you have sky blue, purple, blue, and a light purple, uh, violet. We'll just call that one, yeah, I guess we'll just call this one violet because I don't really know what violet looks like. I don't know if this is violet or this is violet. So we're going to call this one violet, yeah, as you can see here. This one is going to be violet, not gray. It kind of looks like gray in the light, but that one's definitely a lighter type pink. So this one's going to be violet, and this is going to be purple. Blue and sky blue. So what you want to do is you want to find a piece with one of those on here. There's a purple, and there's a sky blue. So we're going to put the sky blue on right here, and then we're going to look to see where the other pieces are. This one is in its correct spot because this is violet, and this one's violet. And then these two are switched. So what we're going to do is, these two are in the correct spot, so we will worry about those after we place all of the corners in the correct spot. So what we are going to do is we're going to switch these two corners, and we're, we're going to be using a cuboid method from the 2x2x3. Two by two by and that algorithm is 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R, 2F, UI, if we can turn. 2F, U, 2F, UI. 
and that put these two pieces switched, or is it these two? One of those two pieces are switched now, and then it also automatically solved these two, which is kind of lucky. Sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't. And then we have to solve these two pieces, which we're going to be using a Megaminx algorithm for that one, or does a corner placement method, and that is going to be R I D I R D. And you're just going to keep doing that until it's in place like this, and make sure to do that last D move. Flip it over and do it again to the corners in place. And there we go, your dodecahedron is solved. Now, that is just one of the cases that we have. I'm going to be doing another one. All right, now sometimes you have one piece in place right here, then you also have a diagonal piece in place. So you can do one of two algorithms to just kind of screw everything up. What you want to do is the first algorithm is actually a beginner's method algorithm. And that is, uh, I don't really know what this does yet. I'm pretty sure it rotates pieces around, but I just do this and it, I just go from there. And this algorithm is R U R I U R 2 U R I. And then we have to place another piece, which one is already in place. This one is on violets. This one is in place and this one's diagonal. So if that didn't work, then we're going to do a different algorithm. And it's also going to be a beginner's method and Mega Mix algorithm. And that is going to be F R U R I U I F I. And it doesn't really matter where you do that algorithm on the cube. And then you rotate it over. These two are in place, and these two are in place. So then you just do the RIDI moves again, and your cube will be solved. And then finally, your last case will just be having none of them solved, and all you have to do is rotate it into its correct spot. And then you'll just do the RIDI moves from there. And then those are all of the cases that you will get. So that is pretty much it after your cube is solved. I hope you guys filed this tutorial fine and perfectly. And I hope you guys really just understood this puzzle. And I hope after this, you get really good at this. And then you move on to the Mega Minx. And then after that, I hope you move on to the Giga Minx, which I don't have. And then before you do any of those things, though, I want you to get good at the 2x2, then the 3x3, then the 4x4, then do these two puzzles, and then go on to the Giga Minx. That's what I would do, and that's what I have done already. Except I still need to buy myself a Giga Minx before I do anything, and then I can make a tutorial on that one. That is about all on this tutorial for the 2x2 Decahedron by Lanlan. Lan. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and put a comment on this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or be feel free to private message me. That is about it. I'm Connor, and I will see you guys later.